In this video, I'm sharing a tool that will allow you to add multiple links to your social media bios. This is a great way to look professional and drive traffic to your pages. What's up guys, this is Max Square, and if you're new here, I make videos all about tech tools for entrepreneurs. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and like this video and subscribe below. In 2020, your social media profile is seen by customers, your fans, and even potential employers. So it's really important that you maximize every inch of your profile so that it's engaging and it's easy for people to find the information that you want them to. One of the best ways to do this is to add a landing page in your bio link so that you can put all the links to your different websites and pages all in one place. And the way I've done this is by using a website called solo.2. Not sure if that's what it's supposed to be called. Maybe it's just solo, but who knows? So this is what my page looks like right now. It's a really simple URL. It's just the solo.2 forward slash Luke VZ. So it's a really simple page, but it allows people to quickly see what it is I do or where they can get in touch with me. So if they're trying to schedule a call with me or find my photography account, I put all those links right here and made it really easy to find. In terms of pricing, they do have a free plan, which will give you access to the core features, which most people will probably be fine with. I went ahead to the next paying plan, which was $12 for the entire year. So it was like a dollar a month. And that allowed me to use like a dark mode and add a background image and a couple other features. But I'll get into the different plans a little bit more later. So taking a look at the editor, it's really clean and easy to use. There's a place where you can edit all of your pictures. Below that, you can edit your links and embed. So those are the bigger blocks where you can see I've put schedule a call and I've linked to a couple of social networks. And then under that, there's contact and social buttons. So it's a little backwards in the way they've laid it out. If we take a look at my page again, you'll see we have my name, my bio, and then the social media buttons. And then below that are the links and embeds, but they've kind of flipped that. And you'll see they have support for all the main social networks, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. But if there's something missing, LinkedIn isn't on here, for example, you can always just create a link and add it to your links and embeds, and it'll still bring in that social network's picture, just like it did with Instagram and YouTube. Next, there's an analytics page, which allows you to track how many people are actually clicking on your link. So in the last seven days, I've actually had over 140 people click on it. And I don't even have that many followers on Instagram. That's the only place I put it is on one social network with I think 150 followers. So very, very small. And that many people have actually been clicking on my link. So if you're a bigger company or a brand, you can tell that it's really important that you make all of those links easy to find and make it look professional. Now, if you're on a higher paying plan, you'll actually be able to track which of the links on your page people are clicking on the most, and you can keep track of all those stats. Now I'm on the lower paying tier, so it's blurred out for me, but you can upgrade if you are interested in that. And then you've got the account page where you can change your username. Now, as far as I know, you cannot add a custom domain, at least on the free or lower paying options. But what I just did is I took my full domain, lukevanzale.com, and I forwarded it to this link right here, and it worked perfectly. Most people will not notice that you did that. So that's an easy workaround, but the link itself is only like six or seven characters, so it's really not that bad if you have to share that link with someone. You're not sending them this really, really long URL. It's pretty clean already. So taking a look at their pricing, you can see the four different plans they offer. There's a free, personal, entrepreneur, and professional, obviously getting more and more expensive. I'm on the personal plan, and the biggest thing there is that you can add 10 more links, switch it to dark mode, and add a background image. So if those things aren't that important to you, you can just stay on the free plan and you still have a responsive web page. You can change out the background color and your image, and you get 10 different links. So that's basically the whole website. And as you can see, it's really easy to set up. I think this took me 10 minutes to put the whole thing together, but for the results that I've been getting and the results that you'll probably get by driving more traffic to all those different websites and pages, it really is worth it. So guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe down below. If you want access to behind the scenes content, live streams, and even one-on-one -on -one calls with me, you can join and support the channel there as well. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.